Hey, what's up you guys? Kat from Old Reading Farm. Thanks for joining me today. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some before footage of the lady alpacas. Their shearing date is tomorrow. Um, usually both of us are here for shearing. I'm going to be at a craft show, so I won't be here. So we may not be able to film any of the like actual shearing. Look at that green grass behind me, so nice. Um, so I'm gonna show you what the girls all look like now. And then we'll show you what they look like after shearing. We're super excited to have it done um, pretty early this year so they don't ever have to go through the super hot summer with all of their fur on. <laughs> Let me turn you around and show you. So it looks like that's Maple and one of the white ones, maybe Sophie. See them laying in the distance? Oh, they're just basking. The sun is out. It's super nice. It's been really, really rainy. So I'm happy that we finally got some sun. Okay, I'm going to come in here and give the girls some carrots. Look at that grass. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, it's looking so good. Little Maggie. Hi, Mags. I'm gonna come in there. Look at your teeth. I'm gonna come in there. So once Brownie realizes I've got carrots. <laughs> This is the extra catch pen that John built yesterday. This will help them shear close by and give them an extra way to get everybody moved. <laughs> Hi, sweet Macy. Can I interest you in a carrot, ma'am? Hi, you sweet girl. Macy. Silver. This is Brenda walking towards us, the brown one. Hi, Max. Macy's best little friend, Linda, the white one right there. This is Lulu. Hi, Lulu. Would you like a carrot? <laughs> Hi, sweet Lulu. That's Cinnamon, the short one with the brown neck. Silver on the left and Brenda on the right. Hi, Silver. Would you like a carrot? Do you want a carrot? Lulu? <laughs> Hi, sweet girl. See, Linda, oh, she just put her ears down. Linda has this really funny ear hair coming out of her ears. Hi, Lulu. This little baby Finn. So we have some big news on Finn. The lady who gave us Cookie, who's back there somewhere, is going to take Finn from us because she has a little herd of boys and we're going to be trading him for a girl. So he'll be leaving us after we shear him. Brenda, you want a carrot? They would probably prefer it if I would just bring them some green. Oh, that's Cookie back there with the little white face. cookie she's she figured it out where's brownie brownie's back there behind the tree <laughs> cookie are you gonna eat all these carrots can i take a few hi cinnamon do you like a carrot Good girl. This is Maple right here. Good girl, Maple. Macy, would you like a carrot? Maple, you're gonna take it? Now Macy can have one. Cinnamon? Good. <laughs> Cookie's chowing down on carrots. Oh, <laughs> Maple just bit my finger. Doing ASMR. Hey, 
Kanda. You know, I can't believe Brownie didn't come over here. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> Cookie ate the entire canister of carrots. So, Cookie, did you eat the whole can of carrots? All right, so this is what the girls are looking like now. Super fluffy. Um, we're really super lucky with the weather though. The weather last year when we were shearing was a little damp um, and we actually had to reschedule our like originally scheduled cheering date. Look, I've got crowds behind me. You girls are very good. So it, we got rained out the first day last year and then our like backup rain date also almost got rained out. It was raining overnight and like pretty wet, um, but we, you know, felt that everybody was dry enough. You don't want to share alpacas when they're wet because then the fiber when it's like sitting in trash bags waiting to get processed into either product or yarn is at risk of getting like moldy or mildewy so that's important okay so i also have a craft show today to go to so i'm gonna get myself all packed up and go to that and then you'll be seeing john tomorrow showing you the aftermath of what alpaca shearing day is like so we'll see you guys then All right, this is it. How crazy does this look? Let's see, cookie seconds. It's what we work all year for. Let's go see what those skinny girls look like. Hi, Lulu. <laughs> oh, you're looking awfully skinny. Hi, Cookie. We were just looking at your seconds. All right, so two full days of show. Sunbird to prove it. Uh -huh. um, sorry you're stuck with me for this entire video instead of John. I'm gonna get some food and see if I can get any of the girls to come up to me. They're probably a little bit mad, upset after shearing. Um, so let's see if I can get some some hand feeding. Look at that grass. Mm. Probably be all the usual suspects who want to come over here and eat. <laughs> They're not gonna want to come into the catch pen though. Hi, Cookie. This is what these silly girls are looking like. Oh, Macy. You're looking so thin. It's Linda in the back right looking distrustful. I think this is Susie right here. Oh my god, that's um, <laughs> a muffin. Oh my gosh, your neck looks so long. This is Petal right here. Petal. Connie. Actually, that's probably Brenda. Where's Connie? I see Brownie. Oh, here's Connie. Pre prettier eyelashes. <laughs> oh, skinny, skinny little necks. Hi, Brownie. Brownie, you're not looking skinny. Look at how big Brownie still looks. Bossy. Oh, hi, Silver. You almost can't tell who you are. Hi, Macy. Sweet girl. See all these spots that Macy has when she's shorn? When she's got all her fiber grown in, sometimes you can really only see the big one on her neck. Hi, sweet Susie. Hi, sweet Susie. I don't have anything. Cookie again. 
This is Maple right here. It's Felix's mom. Sorry, that was a lie. That was Barbara. <laughs> this is Maple. Maple just walked over. Oh, little Finn. Hi, little Finn. Hey there, you handsome little dude. What's going on? Oh, he's looking a lot smaller without his big coat on. Alrighty, so that's what the girls are looking like. I am going to go take a quick look at the boys. I'm going to run inside and get my egg bucket, gather some eggs. All right, these are the boys. Kevin is looking extra handsome. Wonder what Ron had to say about Kevin. Kevin's also not having it. Oh God, Winston and Waffle, they look practically like adults. It's Glacier. Little Felix. I wanna take a look at what Felix's blanket looked like. Oh, I want to see Kevin. Kevin, can I see what a handsome boy you are? These alpacas are like, ma'am, we've been through some things today. Leave us alone. Hi, you handsome boys. Oh, so cute, so skinny. All right, so I'm gonna, whoa, I'm gonna trip and fall. Uh, all right, so that's what was going on with Herd Health Day. So I wasn't here to be a part of Herd Health Day. Oh, boys, so cute. Uh, I was working very hard at craft shows. John took care of everything he does. Such a good job. Um, unfortunately, we didn't make, gosh, my sunburn. Eek. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, we didn't make as much of these craft shows as we were hoping to, um, but that's okay. You never know until you know. John John is coming. Let's say hi to him. Who, who did the best job? I'll tell you who didn't do the best job. <laughs> Wait, let me guess it. Who didn't do the best job? Okay, you can Out you of name the... five of them. Oh, well, let me, let me say the worst boy was Kevin. Nope. No. Glacier. Nope. Wow, I suck at this game. Waffler Winston? Nope. Little Felix? Nope. Carl? Nope, the other one, Carl. Wow. So the boys were all pretty good. Okay. And so when we say pretty good, we mean like not not like well behaved, but that they're okay with it because some alpacas pee and throw up and spit at you. Carl peed himself a little bit and he was very vocal. He was very loud. Yeah. But then like all of the Rosehaven alpacas up there. Mm. Really not fun. Is that why you asked me who Brenda was? N no, I asked you who Brenda was because I... That was the only alpaca that I didn't know their name. Okay. Like right there. I just couldn't think of it. Yeah. Because what's Brenda from? Nothing. It's just a name. Yes, yeah, so that's that's the thing. Yeah. Most of the other names have something. So, But everybody did a good job. And what about Willow? How was Willow? Willow was awful. <laughs> She, she was first, too. So it was oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you go lightest to darkest, right? So you had to do the white yeah, ones with, first. Yeah, with the girls, we did all the white ones first. Yeah. Which to, and, and then, okay, so yeah, funny sharing stories. So then we got down to the last four. And so the last four are all black. And cookie. So, so it was cookie, maple, maple silver, silver, Lulu. Silver and Lulu. And, well, and uh, the other, uh, Barbara was in there, too, because she was so dark. Okay. But anyway... It's it's harder on them sometimes because, you know, they're trapped. I mean, they have water, but, you know, they're in there and they're hot and they're getting bothered. And there's 20 alp or 16 alpacas that got shorn ahead of them. And, they you know, some of them were, wee, wee. And some of them were just fine. But so, you know, they're getting stressed out. So as we're doing the last four, and I don't know if Catherine showed you the little setup that we have up there. But basically we had like a little room off of our catch pen. And it would just had an open gate on to, into the catch pen. So we had, for, I don't remember who it was on the mat, 
getting shorn, but then all three of the other alpacas like wandered in there and were just <laughs> roaming around, <laughs> tripping on the ropes and stuff, and it just couldn't keep them out of there. So yeah. Maple was last, and like her and Cookie were basically like together for Cook the last year. Cookie's a nightmare to handle she, anyway. She was okay. She wasn't. She wasn't great. But it's so funny because whenever I go in there with treats, now Cookie is always like. The lady. Well, she's come along because when we first picked her up, I literally had to pick her up with the lady and carry her into our trailer to bring her here. She's yeah. much better than that now, but she, it's almost like she remembers Ron. Oh, <laughs> really? Like, well, I mean, yeah. not really, but Maybe I think, though. you know, they, they know some things up, yeah. especially after, you know, it was like the girls took, I think like four hours. But you were done earlier than I thought you were going to be. How long did it take for the whole day? Like six hours. Including well, a lunch break. Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, like six hours, including like, I mean, it was like a 15 minute lunch break, but. Yeah. Did, did uh, you eat a chicken salad sandwich? Sure did. Did Ron? Ron and, oh, and Rashad was here. Oh, yeah. That's, which was great because I could dismiss oh, Rob. And Rob went, got dismissed. Yeah. But it, it would have gone a lot, it would have taken a lot longer if it were me and yeah, Ron right. and Rob. Right. Than if. I wonder if you would have made more money if you had been at the show. You live and you learn. Yeah. And you get loves. No, we don't. We never will. <laughs> All right. You want to close us out? All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully. Catherine has a ton of cute alpaca footage in there. I do. And uh, I also wanted to say thank you to everybody who watched our last video and wrote the most <laughs> creative we should get an excavator comments ever. I looked at them like the first hour after the video was posted. You guys did such a good job. And like Catherine didn't, she didn't know up until she watched the video because she, she had like so much to do that day, crazy day at work. And so she didn't get to watch the video until she came home later. And then she, it was just, you guys did a tremendous job. I just want to say thank you because I really appreciate it. Thank you, an excavator on the way. No. <laughs> Maybe. Keep. No. <laughs> keep, keep leaving comments and maybe. Yeah, we'll see. Boost, the, boost that YouTube revenue and then we'll see what Yeah, happens. yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.